Hey everyone, time for another 3 at 3 on Solar PV. I'm Jen Runyon, Chief Editor of Renewable Energy World. And I'm Paula Mensch, Chief Market Research Analyst with SPV Market Research, obviously starting out slowly on a Monday. It is a Monday. And yes. it's definitely kind of a hard Monday for the majority of the solar industry. On Friday, we got what many people would see as really bad news, and that's gonna be our topic for today. We're talking about the, the trade case. The ITC ruled on Friday, four to one, vote, four to zero voted in favor, uh, or, or that injury was found, and that domestic US solar manufacturers have been harmed by cheap imports. Now what happens? Well, you know, back to what we said, you know, let's, as you know, months ago, yeah. <laughs> if they just did the math and, and had no other arguments but math, then the ruling was going to go this way. Right. It's the harm part that's really the issue. And the U.S. is a big enough market, uh, import market primarily, to uh, that this affects every manufacturer that sells into the U.S., okay. um, a whole bunch of participants, developers. It's... Um, a global industry. Mm -hmm. So the the effect of this ruling is very far reaching. Right now, it's just a ruling. <laughs> we don't know where it goes from here. Yeah. So public yeah. public trial October third, um, where I assume people will submit testimony to say right. how they've been how they've been harmed, how they haven't been harmed. Um, what they're what they're worried about and what they would like to see, um, and then at that point the ITC puts together its recommendation, which goes to Trump. And you know, what are your thoughts? I don't know anything about the commissioners. I don't know who, what those what that's likely going to look like. What what are your kind of gut feelings? Well, um, I would say the harm um, and the remedies, th those arguments have actually uh, ironically already been made. Sure. So pretty much the same group of people, although I would say this time load up some small to medium installers in there and mm. not just, you know, not, don't, don't force it completely towards the big developers. Okay, that's right. Really that. get some of the small to medium guys in there to talk about them and personalize it. Um, but, uh, so those arguments have already been made. Had Suniva made, uh, so the SIA made and Solar World, slightly better argument, but SIA made an argument that was heavily weighted towards how many jobs would be lost in the US. And right. I could put holes in that argument, but it is, you know, the, frankly, I think this ruling is unfortunate. Um, and on the other side, uh, Suniva had an absurd argument that mirrored the, you know, it's kind of like Alice in Wonderland. So on one side, here's what's going to happen on the other side. Here's exactly the same argument, but there's going to be all these jobs. And that's right. highly likely. So you really need to get the personal, I, I, this, consider this a plea to get the little guy and the medium guy in there to say, this is how it's going to hurt me. I am the small businessman you're trying to protect. Yes. President Trump. And so this is how I'm going to be harmed because of this. And let's hope they make that argument. The odds are, um, and so to remedy, I mean, it goes, it can go anywhere from everything Cineva and Solar World asked for, some of which is a little ridiculous, to almost nothing. And a good analogy to that for me, I've been giving this to my clients so years ago. I'm a terrible person to have on a jury. I'm, I'm always an analyst. I'm always picking things down to the data, data, data level, which drives people insane. Okay. I was on a jury for an autumn, for a car accident. Somebody had been rear-ended, and she didn't like the the settlement, so she sued. So she won because she was rear-ended, and then there was almost no um, no judgment in her uh, in terms of finance financial in her favor because it was both their faults mm. so what i'm the point i'm trying to make with that is it could be a remedy that's rather small the best case as there will be a remedy now is frankly just to have the 78 cent minimum price yeah and not and not a judgment for a tariff additionally on sales 
because that would harm the module assemblers in the U.S., which argues for having a bunch of them going, hey, guys, we got to buy cells. We can't buy them here. We're going to have to buy them from there. So don't hurt us. Mm -hmm. so how, many, how many module assemblers do we have here? We don't have that many. Okay. But we have enough. You know, okay. maybe a gigawatt worth of capacity, maybe 1.2 gigawatts worth of capacity. All right. This guy's in the room to say, we are buying from this, that, and the other. If you add, you are hurting U.S. manufacturing mm -hmm. if you add a minimum, if you add a tariff on sales. Right. So then, I mean, we're not going to get away with no remedy here. I think that's highly doubtful. So again, best case, the 78 minimum price, cent minimum price they've asked for, it lasts what? You know, like maybe three to four years. Four, four years is what I just yeah, read today. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate it can be then reinstated, but let's hope not. Four years is not enough to start cell manufacturing. But exactly, and that's the point of the article that I was reading, was that that's not, it's not gonna get us anywhere in terms of ramping up real capacity exactly. in the US. And you and I have talked about that too. I mean, there are technical, you know, little milestones you have to meet. So right. it's not going to ramp up capacity. Plus, at the same time, the capacity is supposedly about ready to ramp into, let's say, pilot scale. You have the ITC going down, and the, uh, the, all solar markets are unstable. Yes. Face it. Yeah. We have to face it. We can't. As you and I, as you know, that I've had, I've attended fewer conferences this year because they do tend to be bubbles, and everybody talks about bigger, 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 and kind of skates over the fact that we are still incentive, subsidy, and mandate. Mandate can be different from either of those things. Mm -hmm. Driven. Mm -hmm. If yeah. those pillars get chopped away, our demand goes like that. So it's really a big financial commitment for a manufacturer to start up manufacturing. And this isn't enough time to do it. Right. So, and counting on an extension of this is still not, it's still, it's just a variable. Oh, Another yes. variable thrown into a really big financial sinkhole. Huge risk. And an interesting point out, or point that was made, we actually have a piece on Renewable Energy World on this, was that because we have the ITC, because we have these government incentives that are in place, if we do raise the price of solar, if the, if the growth were to continue on the same trajectory, taxpayers would end up funding, it's over a billion dollars because we have to pay more, that 30% of a higher cost is more money out of the taxpayer budget. Well, uh, unfortunately that, that is sort of moot at this point because <laughs> there's gonna be a remedy and that's that, you know? Sure, yeah, but, it, um, but it, yeah, but I mean, it's just another way to consider that this is, it's all around pretty tough news for solar and really the whole American public. And there's going to be between now and the and October 3rd, a lot of public discourse and guessing games about what's going to happen. And yeah. the only thing that we know, as I think that you and I have said over and over again, and I can't help it as an analyst, I reset to what we know, is that the ruling came down. And now we know that. Okay, and now we don't know what the remedy could be, and there's so many di different directions that it can go, and a lot of people are going to be saying, "Here's what I think. Here's what I think. Here's what I think." We don't know. Assume the worst. Plan for the worst. I hate to say it. Assume the worst and plan for the worst. Just like I am quite certain, the reasonable and intelligent and rational U.S. solar industry and others assumed a outcome that we got but, yeah. and planned for it. Yeah. Yep. So, and now again, I think the best advice is to plan to influence the remedy. And the way to do that is, first of all, get those module assemblers in the room, mm -hmm. not just the big developers, not just the big utility scale guys. Get the module assemblers in the room to say, look, here's how it affects me, my small US business. That's going to ring a bell. Get the small to medium installers in the room to say, look, this is how it affects me. Get the personal. You and I, I mean, I don't know, most people maybe watched 60 Minutes last night and saw Oprah with her focus group, and it was the personal side Absolutely. that got everybody in yeah. the room talking. Yeah, once so, it became human, exactly, make it human. So now we need to humanize. Right. Now we need to bring it down and say, this is my small business, this is my mm -hmm. livelihood. Look at the people I employ, may only be 20 people, maybe 50 people, whatever, maybe 10, maybe five. But these people rely on my business and you are going to affect it. You are going to affect U.S. small business. And 
I think we better assume that whatever goes to Trump's desk gets signed. So let's start out and reach into the heart of our industry right now is my advice and pull out its guts, slap it down on a piece of paper, get to that October 3rd, see ya, whoever else is making the argument, have the little guy in there. Yeah. Because that's the beating heart of our industry still. Yeah, absolutely. No, great advice, Paula. As always, thank you so much. Um, hopefully, uh, uh, we actually, we're out of time. So um, we're going to wrap up right now. But um, if you have questions or comments, please let us know in the comment section below. We, uh, we love to hear from you. And if there's, yeah, if there's something you want us to discuss or a topic you'd like to hear more about, also let us know. Perfect. All right. Have a All great right. day. Thank you, Jen. Bye, you too. Talk to you next time. Bye.